10 Things You Didn't Know About Bottega Veneta. Welcome to Luxfy. We talk about fashion, travel, money, and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video listing the 10 things you didn't know about Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta has set a new standard for luxury since its birth in Vicenza in 1966. Inspired by Italian culture with a global outlook, the house is defined by refined attitude. Bottega Veneta uses noble materials to create considered pieces that become part of their owners' lives. The house embraces a core philosophy of style, innovation and luxury, applied to a full offer for woman, man and home. The recent growth of Bottega Veneta is a major success story, and we are all excited to see the next chapters of this Italian fashion house. At the end of the video we have a bonus fact that may surprise you. So without further ado, here are 10 things you didn't know about Bottega Veneta. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram, at Luxficom. Number 10. Bottega Veneta means Venetian shop. Bottega Veneta was founded in 1966 by Michele Taddei and Renzo Cenciaro. Based in Vicenza, Italy, it originally started as a leather goods store. Since then, Bottega Veneta has focused on creating high-quality, timeless pieces. Bottega Veneta is Italian for Venetian shop, which makes sense since the place of its creation, Vicenza, is in the Italian region of Veneto. Number 9. Bottega Veneta does not have a logo. While basically all the other major fashion houses have flashy logos in their pieces, Bottega Veneta takes a quieter approach. Instead of a logo, Bottega signs its pieces by how they are made. Just by looking at their bags, you already know where it's from. With only an interior label, Bottega Veneta relies on its fine craftsmanship and materials to set it apart from other brands. Number 8. The Intrecciato is the signature design of Bottega Veneta. When Bottega Veneta began manufacturing, its sewing machines were not adequate enough to work with most letters. Because of that, they had to use a finer, more supple letter. To reinforce and strengthen it, Bottega Veneta developed an innovative technique known as Intrecciato, Italian for intertwined. In the late 60s, it began cutting the letter into strips and waving them together, making it much more durable. Intrecciato has since become a signature of the house, contributing to the understated but recognizable Bottega Veneta look. Number 7. Bottega Veneta has a specialized school. Scuola della Pelleteria is Bottega Veneta's specialized school that opened in 2006. There, craftsmen are trained and help to preserve the tradition of working with leather. This tradition is, in fact, the heart and soul of the brand. Number 6. Bottega Veneta is a part of the Gucci Group. In 2001, the Gucci Group acquired Bottega Veneta for nearly $1 billion. The group focusing on developing the brand quickly, opening stores worldwide and trying to expand the product line and focus more on ready-to-wear, although that was only achieved when Daniel Lee joined the brand as creative director. If you are enjoying this video so far, we strongly recommend you to subscribe to our channel so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Number 5. Creative director Daniel Lee is responsible for the new success of Bottega Veneta. Today, Daniel Lee holds the position of creative director. He took the role in June 2018 and at that time had little recognition in the fashion world. He was 32 and had previously worked as director of Celine's Ready to Wear. Since his joining Bottega Veneta, the company has been catapulted into the spotlight of must-have fashion. This new Bottega, characterized by Lee as clean and back to essential, came just in time for old Celine fans to pick up. Number 4. The pouch marked the return of the eat bag. 
One of the first products Lee made when he arrived at Bottega the pouch was a phenomenon, an eat bag when eat bags were no longer supposed to exist. Inspired by a Bottega Veneta bag carried by Lauren Houghton in American Gigolo, the pouch is a squishy oversized clutch that is crafted of butter soft leather. With no strap and a dumpling-like shape, Bottega Veneta's merchandising team was so concerned the pouch would not sell that ordered a very limited amount for stores at first. However, what the pouch lacked in functionality, it made up for in aesthetics. This bag started an internet craze. You could not go on Instagram without seeing this bag. Rosie Huntington Whitley posted the pouch on her Instagram account 39 times in just 3 months. Today, the pouch is available in a variety of colors and materials. This Intrecciato pouch is sold on Bottega Veneta's website for $3,200. Number 3. Daniel Lee was the first designer to win four fashion awards in the same night. After only a year and a half as creative director of Bottega Veneta, Daniel Lee won four awards at the 2019 Fashion Awards in London. He won Brand of the Year, Accessories Designer of the Year, British Designer of the Year, and Designer of the Year. No designer had ever won four awards in one night at the event. Not John Galliano or Alexander McQueen. Not Stella McCartney or Phoebe Philo or Christopher Bailey. Not any of the most famous celebrated designers in the era of award ceremony had done what Daniel Lee has done. Number 2. Bottega Veneta does not gift any influencers or celebrities. With the enormous success of the pouch and the square-toed heels, they were by far the most worn items of fashion weeks around the world and the most posted items on Instagram. A Bottega spokesman said the brand did not give any products to influencers or celebrities, and that this all happened because everyone loved the pieces so much. Though he also admitted that the company did send some bags and shoes to editors as thank yous, and the company did occasionally gift close friends of the house. He also suggested that some e-tailers like Netaporte and Matches.com had deals with influencers to promote products in their sites and might have facilitated the acquisitions. But mostly, Bottega Veneta does not gift influencers. So, chances are that when you see a celebrity flaunting around a Bottega Veneta bag, they probably paid for it themselves. Number 1. Bottega Veneta left all social media platforms. Going in the opposite direction of most brands that increase their social media presence each year, Bottega Veneta has left all social media platforms, including Instagram, in the beginning of 2021. They gave no explanation for it, but experts say that social media has become so widely popular that it has become uncool, and Bottega is all about staying cool. Daniel Lee has always been opposed to social media, staying away from it himself. Social media represents the homogenization of culture, Lee said. Everyone sees the same stream of content. A huge amount of thought goes into what I do, and social media oversimplifies it. In March of 2021, Bottega Veneta launched a quarterly digital journal with editorial photo shoots and videos. Doesn't that seem an awful like social media to you? Another reason why Bottega might have left Instagram is because of their fan accounts. The Instagram new Bottega is one of the most famous. It is run by a fan of the brand and it has more than 600,000 followers. The truth is, Bottega isn't really vanishing from social, it is just letting others do the work for it. That's a wrap on our list of the 10 things you didn't know about Bottega Veneta. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite, or if you are a true Bottega fan and already knew all of this. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And for sticking with us this far, here is some bonus information. After the pouch, the new Bottega Veneta's eat bags are the Cassette, the Jody, and now, the Point. Daniel Lee's winning streak of creating the most wanted bags out there continues. 
Every season he launches the new bag of our dreams. He started with the pouch, then moved to the cassette. With its adjustable strap, it can be worn over the shoulder or across the body, making it a go-to accessory for Superwoman, who can carry a Starbucks in one hand, reply to emails in another, all the while avoiding sidewalk strollers. Then came the Jody. Its one-strap design, spatial silhouette and vast color range make it a respectable competitor for the Fendi baguettes and Prada nylon bags of the world. And now, there is the point. This may not be everyone's cup of tea, but the iconic shape of the bag with its world-class materials guarantees the success of this bag. So you can be sure you will be seeing a lot of this bag. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, we provided the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon!